guacamole, guacamole. Check this spot out. Just the steel rusting out. 12 to 20 souls buried. They didn't have anywhere else to go, so I'm kind of hoping we can find that at some point. There was a whole village around here, a whole town. A thousand people, a tailor, a barber. Shotgun cartridge. Welcome to the bushlands of Ontario. Where are we heading today? Well, today we're heading to a forgotten place, an abandoned place. Today we're heading to a penal place, Burwash Prison or Camp Bison. Built in 1914, once housed hundreds of residents and spawned a town, now derelict forgotten and rotting relic of the past. Let's go and see what stories it still has to tell. Let's go. So this hike is no joke. A lot of bugs, a lot of beauty. Possibly some bears, haven't seen any. But I think we're nearly there, we're nearly at Burwash. And it's remarkable to think there was once a thousand plus strong community that lived here, lived in these bushy lands, probably a little further along, closer to the prison. But it was made up of guards in the community that worked at the prison. They had lumber that was made, cut by the prisoners. They had meat and veg that was grown by the prisoners. And this was it, this was Burwash. And we're almost there, I can't wait to show you it. Here's quite the sight. So just a bit more down this buggy trail. Next stop, Camp Bison. All right, here we are finally. We have reached Burwash Prison, Camp Bison. Let's go explore. Somehow, a pickup wreck has ended up here. Who knows when? And if we look over here, here they are in all of their former glory. Their wash prison. Let's go and explore. Let's go and explore this massive relic, full of graffiti by the looks of it. Guacamole. Check this spot out. We're not the only visitors. Look at this. Into the jail cells. Wow. What a room in eh? Just the steel rusting out and check out one of these places. This has been their view. I imagine they had something on the windows though. Old toilet. Old birdie trying to get out. Oh, off he goes. Hey birdie. Guessing he found it a little easier than the former residents to get out of here. It's their cell and they're proud of it. This place 
once housed up to 820 prisoners at one time. It was by no means a maximum security prison, I don't believe. I think it was short sentences. But it did have a couple of murderers here who uh, escaped once upon a time, I think in the 60s, so I don't know how that works. But uh, unreal. Lots of visitors over the years by the looks of it. Here we go. Just the steel really still remaining, rusted out. A tetanus boost waiting to happen. The yard. Whoa. Looks like a hole with a stage. Don't know what this would have been. I can tell you it smells like people have been staying here and camping here and having a bonfire. Which I'm sure they have. Let's see what we can see. Oh yeah, here we go. Big room. Maybe this was the entertainment hall. Some bars from the windows that have come down over the years. Just slowly but surely, this place is being given back to the earth or being taken back by the earth, I would say. And why not? It served its purpose. There is a cemetery here, I'm trying to find 12 to 20 souls buried that didn't have anywhere else to go, so I'm kind of hoping we can find that at some point. Alright, let's keep going. Stairs down through the prison. Imagine prisoners just filing through here in line. I think this place was run pretty tight ship, from what I've read. And they would walk down here, get a little glimpse of this freedom. It's really interesting to me that this is such a country retreat of a prison, really. I'm sure it was no picnic. So this is the basement, and it is underwater. So we won't be going in there. I'm sure the basement was never a place anyone wanted to be. Not that they wanted to be in the prison in the first place, but I'm sure this was never a popular place, so we'll, uh, I think I'll leave it there. It's strange, because this place is almost serene, given that, you know, it's just a country building now. Let's keep going. Row after row after row. Oh, I wonder what this is. So this looks like the shower room. Showers would have been up here on the ceiling and up here. This would be my area. Here I am, showering in prison. Nice and clean. Everything's fine. How you doing, buddy? Okay, hopefully it doesn't look over here. Yeah, this is it. There's one around the back too. And uh, a couple above, I think. The prison shower room. Infamous place, I'm sure. Made it outside, freedom. Still looking for the cemetery. I think it might be over here. I see some kind of pillar. I'm gonna go and explore that in a moment, but right now we've just found this. I don't know what this place was. It's like an infirmary or something, but it was uh, industrial heartbeat of the prison. I can say that confidently. Let's keep exploring. Here's a kind of strange irony that this prison, which I'm sure nobody wanted to be in, 
between 1914 and 1975 ends up being a place that people like myself come to visit and many others do more than that and spend a weekend here or longer. Lots of tents and mattresses and beer cans strewn about. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Oh, steady. Okay. Not sure what this is yet. The pillar I was talking about is over there through the trees, so we'll keep going. Hopefully that's the cemetery. And it really is remarkable that this prison's here. I think it was changes in prison practices, i.e. where they put prisons and how they ran them. They shut this place down in 1975 because this is in the middle of nowhere. It's an hour and 20 minutes hike from a trail. It's this lovely, you know, rugged countryside. And uh, there was a whole village around here, a whole town, a thousand people, a tailor, a barber, you know, a church, a post office. And then the prison closes and it all just goes away. And as you can see, the land comes back to claim its rightful ownership of this place. So we're about up on this box now. No idea what this is. There's got to be something. Has to be something. Let's find out. Okay, it is a beer can receptacle. If you know, leave a comment. The search for the cemetery or for an obvious cemetery continues. Looks like it may be overgrown by all this lush grass. You can see the weeds growing out the roof. I think you can get up on the roof. I may or may not venture up there, depending on how bothered it can be. Around the back of the place now. Seeing what we can find amongst the overgrown. Hello, buddy. Just scared the absolute crap out of me. What are you doing with that leaf in your mouth? All right, I'm going over here. You go about your business. Yeah, it's a wild place. You're gonna come across the odd animal. We'll leave them to it. Don't get nibbled to death by a small creature. The old lonely wheelbarrow. It's a nice graffiti there. Graffiti paradise, this place. Unsurprisingly, leave someone like this abandoned for years on end probably the worst you could expect, or well, the best you could expect, a bit of graffiti. Okay, around the back or the side or some part of the prison I haven't been to. What do we have here? Not entirely sure. Let's go and have a look. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is okay. And remember, this place was a farm. They had a sawmill, which is probably that building we saw earlier. They grew vegetables. They had animals and provided meat for the town. Oh boy, that's wet down there. This place was a self-sufficient work farm. It looks like one industry here, it's agriculture here, or was. But yeah, short history really. 
you think about how big this place is and what it must have taken to put it all together. But it only lasted 50, 60 years. Well, 61, uh, to be precise. Wow. And it was originally only accessible by train line, I believe. Hence the need to build the town. I'd love to meet someone who lived here or even spent time here behind these walls, employed or imprisoned. It must have been something. Among the ruins. Something tells me this is not up to health and safety standards today. Feed water pumps. Tank. Here we go. We continue. Look at this spot. Oh boy. Maybe it's just because it's dark now, but... Oh, not the biggest fan of the police here, it would seem. A famous NWA song, nice colour. Oh yeah. Just something nice and eerie about these rooms. If you believe in ghosts, and I don't know that I do, this is where they are. The ghosts are down there. This is Walking Dead vibes. Season whatever. 800. What's he written? Hell. Hell is this way. Hello, Hell. I think we'll take the alternative route. Back into heaven. If you can call this heaven. Guess it's all relative. Ugh. I'm no expert, but it looks like I don't know, a shotgun cartridge, if I had to guess. Hopefully it wasn't used to shoot anyone. Or my fingerprints are now all over it. It should be a shame. Let's go back to freedom. So it's time for me to walk out of here a free man. Like so many we have looked forward to doing many, many years ago. The wash, you've been a fascinating place. And uh, I could not find the cemetery because I pay my respects there to the people who didn't have a home to be buried in. But uh, yeah, it's been something. 1914 to 1975. Come and give it a visit. It's quite the sight. Until next time. Catch you later.